Venezuela, once the richest country in South America, is now on the brink of economic ruin. It was a time when Venezuela was synonymous with prosperity, largely due to its abundant oil reserves, the largest in the world. The nation was a beacon of economic success, an example of how a country could leverage its natural resources to fuel growth and development. As the decades passed, however, this image of affluence began to crumble. The once thriving economy started to show signs of distress as the nation grappled with soaring inflation rates and increasing poverty. The country that was once a haven of wealth and prosperity was now struggling to keep its head above water. The transition was not sudden, but rather a gradual descent into economic chaos. A series of mismanaged economic policies and poor fiscal decisions led to this dramatic shift. From riches to rags, Venezuela's economic collapse is a tale of mismanagement and economic missteps. To grasp the scale of Venezuela's economic downfall, one must delve into the numbers. Now let's take a journey into the heart of the matter, the statistics that paint a vivid picture of an economy in freefall. Imagine this, a country that once boasted the highest gross domestic product in Latin America has seen it plummet by over 50% in less than a decade. That's right, over half of Venezuela's economic output has simply evaporated, leaving a void that's hard to comprehend. But it doesn't stop there. The nation is also grappling with hyperinflation, a term that might seem abstract until you grasp its implications. Picture this. A cup of coffee that cost one bolivar in the morning could cost 10, 20 or even 100 by evening. This is not an exaggeration. In fact, at the peak of the crisis, Venezuela's inflation rate was 1 million percent per year. Yes, you heard that right, 1 million percent. Then comes the human cost. Poverty rates have soared as the economy is tanked. Over 90% of the population now lives below the poverty line. That's nine out of every 10 Venezuelans struggling to afford the basics, like food and shelter. But these are not just cold, hard statistics. Each percentage point represents a family unable to put food on the table, a child unable to go to school, a mother unable to afford medicine for her sick child. These numbers translate into a daily fight for survival for the majority of Venezuelans. And so, as we peel back the layers of Venezuela's economic collapse, we begin to see the true scale of the crisis. It's more than just GDP decline and hyperinflation. It's a human tragedy, playing out in real time, affecting millions of lives every single day. Behind these staggering numbers lie the stories of millions of Venezuelans struggling to survive. Oil, the black gold that once fueled Venezuela's economy now seems to be its downfall. This statement might seem paradoxical, but it's a stark reality. Venezuela is a textbook example of a petro-state, an economy that relies heavily on oil exports. In the golden era of high oil prices, Venezuela rode on a wave of prosperity. The country was awash with petrodollars, and the government generously funded social programs, infrastructure and public services. Then, the situation took a dark turn. In the world of oil, prices are as unpredictable as the weather. When oil prices plummeted, the shock waves were felt across Venezuela's economy. The oil industry, which once accounted for about half of the government's revenue and over 90% of the country's export earnings, was hit hard. The government's coffers dried up, leading to a reduction in public spending. The ripple effect was felt across all sectors, from healthcare to education, triggering a downward spiral into economic collapse. The story of Venezuela is a cautionary tale about over-reliance on a single resource. When a country puts all its eggs in one basket, it becomes vulnerable to market fluctuations. For Venezuela, the drop in oil prices was not just a market fluctuation. It was a seismic event that shook the very foundations of its economy. Venezuela's over-reliance on oil, the very resource that once made it wealthy, has now become its Achilles' heel. But oil alone does not explain the extent of Venezuela's economic collapse. Indeed, the nation's economic policies have played a significant role in exacerbating the crisis. Let's delve into the impact of these policies, particularly price controls and currency devaluation. In a bid to combat inflation and make essential goods affordable, the Venezuelan government began implementing price controls. 
These controls meant that businesses couldn't charge above a certain price for their goods. Sounds good on paper, right? Well, not quite. The reality was that many businesses couldn't afford to sell their products at these artificially low prices. This led to a severe shortage of essential goods, from food to toiletries, pushing the economy further into chaos. Then there's the issue of currency devaluation. In an attempt to boost exports and reduce imports, the government devalued the Bolivar. However, this policy backfired spectacularly. The devaluation of the Bolivar led to hyperinflation, making the currency virtually worthless and driving up the cost of imports. This, coupled with price controls, has resulted in a vicious cycle of economic instability. In the end, these economic policies, intended to stabilize the economy, have in fact contributed to its downfall. They've created a scenario where businesses are unable to operate sustainably, and the people are left bearing the brunt of an economy in freefall. Misguided economic policies have turned a crisis into a catastrophe. As Venezuela grapples with its economic collapse, the question on everyone's mind is, what's next? The future of Venezuela's economy is undoubtedly a complex puzzle, with multiple pieces needing to align perfectly. One potential solution lies in economic reforms. A shift towards market-friendly policies, including the liberalization of currency controls and a focus on fiscal prudence, could help restore stability and stimulate growth. Yet reforms alone won't suffice. International aid will play a pivotal role in Venezuela's economic recovery. Debt relief, financial aid and technical assistance from global institutions could provide the much-needed cushion to rebuild the economy. However, the key to unlocking these solutions is political will. Without a concerted effort from the country's leadership to implement these measures, the road to recovery remains elusive. The road to recovery is long and fraught with challenges, but with the right policies and international support, Venezuela can hope to rebuild its shattered economy.